Hello and welcome to the Tigre Pup channel. In this video I'll be comparing four different hair color removers. If you would like to learn which one worked the best then please keep watching. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you what the hair color is looking like before we begin. As you can see, it's a very deep blue. And we're going to try to remove it with four different um, hair color removers and see which one works the best. If you were interested in learning how I obtained this blue hair color, then please check out uh, this video here. And I'll try to link a link in the description section down below. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you this the color removers that I'm going to be using along with their prices and as you can see all of these are at Sally's so you can um, go to your local Sally's and make a purchase or if you so choose you can order it online um, so I'll leave a link in the description section down below so you can uh, check it out for yourself okay so just for a little bit more detail uh, color fix with the semi permanent hair color remover is supposed to remove semi permanent hair color Punky color by color off is supposed to remove semi, demi, and permanent hair color. And color fix original is supposed to remove permanent hair color. And I forgot color, color zap. So uh, I'll be using it as my fourth option. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you that I've marked each uh, section to designate which color uh, remover that I use. So there won't be any confusion. So uh, let's keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start off with Punky Colors Color Off, and right here I'm just showing you the instructions that are written on the very back of the, the box. And we're going to open up the box and see what's going on in the inside so we can see what all we're getting for our, our money when we make a purchase of this kit here. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is the activator. You're supposed to use this in construction conjunction with the volume 20 in order for this product to work okay here is our volume 20 already pre-measured we didn't have to buy any extra bottles or search and for different volume 20s whatever okay here is our instrabon which is our hair conditioning mask and you use this after using the punky color um color remover and right here are just a pair of gloves so uh, you can get started on doing your hair okay and we also have a little small brush so we got everything in our kit we don't have to buy anything extra and here are our instructions for use okay so right here just taking a quick look at the activator as you can see is very pasty and um it's very gritty I've never seen anything like this before, but then again, um, not all color removers are the same, okay? So here I am taking it, using the little uh, sp sp spatula, I wanna say, uh, just taking out the, the activator, and I'm just gonna use the full amount because honestly, I didn't know, I didn't wanna have to sit up here and measure something that's real thick and pasty with the liquid seat cons creamy consistency of the actual volume 20 so it was just easier to do this okay so just take a look as you can see it's very gritty uh consistency and honestly it was pretty difficult to kind of mix all of this stuff together because the directions specifically say take out all the lumps before applying it to the hair just a reminder don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thanks also a reminder i have a cash app if you'd like to donate the link is in the description uh, section down below it, it would be greatly appreciated it helps me buy products and things like that so thanks in advance okay so now we're getting to the good stuff we're going to do our application of uh the color off i was thinking about um starting from the top but then i realized um the hair is going to lay on top of each other so it might be easier to start at the bottom and work my way up so that's what you see me doing here i actually used the entire contents of the actual kit because um honestly i couldn't figure out how to measure 
uh, the difference. Uh, when you do this application, you're supposed to say uh, a quarter to a half of an inch away from the scalp. That's what the instructions say. But uh, by this being a mannequin and this is not an actual person, I feel like I can go a little bit closer. So that's what you see me doing here. And uh, just a warning, um, just don't do this at home. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe it might cause blistering or something like that. But anyway, as you can see, I'm applying the product. Uh, I mix it up as best as I could. As I told you before, it has like a gritty consistency. And you have to press the little gobs of uh, the activator in order to try to get it uh, to a smooth consistency. Honestly, it's not very smooth, but we're going to keep on going. I got it as smooth as I thought I could possibly make it. it. Took me maybe like a minute or two in order for it to get smooth, kind of, sort of. Anyway, I think I did a pretty good job, uh, but yeah, I'm just applying the product as fast as I can so I can go, go ahead on and move on to the next step. Uh, this product claims to be a lot different from uh, other semi-permanent hair color removers, and I'm going to have a different video, a separate video about this. As you can see, I'm applying it to the scalp, and you're not supposed to do that, so uh, just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, uh, I have a different video, a separate video where I just do the punky color removal by itself. So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, or I'm going to try to leave a link in the description section down below. So uh, let's continue. Okay, so now we're going on uh, to Color Fix, which is the original. Uh, this was very effective in removing red hair color from my mannequin head that was semi-permanent hair color. Let's see what it can do for blue. Uh, right here, I'm just showing you the, e the step one and step two. Uh, use equal parts according to the, the di directions, and you leave it on for like 20 minutes. Okay, so uh, that's what we're going to do here. I'm just measuring, um, you know, one of each ounce you know and then i'm just going to apply it to that one little section and we're going to see what the results look like when we get finished okay so i'm just mixing it in the um the bottle and then i put it in the bowl i'm just showing you the consistency of it which is has like a a gel like consistency okay and i'm just going to apply it to each section not applying it to the scalp which i mean i'm going to be putting it on the scalp but right now i'm just starting on the mid shaft and ends because uh, you know, uh, this is how we're going to apply for this particular instance. Uh, so just kick back and, uh, you know, check everything out. Also, I would like to mention I didn't use step three. Okay. I just used one and two. Okay. So when I did the, the previous video, I told you about what I did uh, with the red hair color and it removed it pretty well. I only used one and two. And in this case, I'm only going to use one and two because we don't want to redarken it. And that's what everyone else is doing. So um, that's what I did here. So for the record, I only used one and two and not three. Okay, so right here I'm going in with the um, the color fix semi permanent. I believe the ratio was one to two. I'm sorry, one to one. Okay, equal amounts. Okay, that's what I did there. Just mixing it up in the uh, the bowl. Make sure, and then I'm going to pour it in the um, mix it up in the bottle and pour it in the bowl and mix it up even more. And I'm just going to use it on this section here. As you can see, it has the same liquidy soupy type of consistency i'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up it's a little bit more sutsy when you apply this particular product so um i just thought that was unusual because it's not quite like uh the original and it's more i don't know if it it, it kind of like suds if that makes any sense anyway so uh that's what you see me applying and it's actually staining her face in the process but uh we're gonna see what this looks like once we get finished okay um these last two um the color fix and and this color fix semi is like 20 minutes um development or processing time however the punky color uh color off was 40 minutes According to the instructions, that's true. I waited 20 minutes before applying these two and the last one as well. 
which is my bonus wild wild card is what I call it um, but yeah that's what you see me doing here only gonna leave this on for 20 minutes that's the color fix uh, semi and the color fix original and I'm gonna use the color sap for 20 minutes as well however the punky colors was for 40 minutes okay so now we're moving on to the color sap okay this is what the box is looking like it has about two products in it and honestly this resembles a uh, oil lightener in my op opinion except it doesn't have the oil so I'm just putting the I'm mixing the two together and making sure I got an even consistency and I'm going to put that in the bowl as well and make sure it's thoroughly consistently mixed and evenly you know okay so um, again this is going to be 20 minutes as well so uh, again, I'm starting at the bottom and working my way to the top. Honestly, this was very liquidy as well. Oh, and before I forget, I would like to briefly mention that this is a two-part pro product. And the first one is like a powder. It looks like blue, like oil lightener, honestly. It just looks like a powder. And the other one is a cream, okay? And then you would mix that together and usually when you do oil lightening you would add like an actual the actual oil that goes with it okay and that's what it looks like it's just missing that one extra part so that's why I said what I said so it's like a powder like almost like a lightener with the uh with the developer basically so uh that's why I said what I said so um yeah that's what you see me doing here applying it and we're going to take a look at the very end and see what all of this uh, accomplished so just stay tuned okay to to just reiterate okay uh, the other three sections the color fix original and semi and uh, the colors app are 20 minutes at room temperature and then I have the punky color uh, that is 40 minutes okay and for the color fix original I did not use step three okay okay so here we go with the sunlit uh, 360 as you can see here uh, so you can get a, a true idea of what color we're getting here okay so we're gonna start with the color fix original which is technically supposed to be for permanent color and we can see it did lift a little bit it has more of a blue teal type of uh, tinge to it um, that's what I'm seeing I'm not sure what you're seeing okay so now moving on to the other side which is you can see here's the color fix for the semi permanent hair color and it does have like a blue steel uh, color thing going on which is mostly blue on the ends uh, it's a pretty color but it's not quite what we're looking for we're looking for removal so uh, that was pretty nice moving on to the next section okay we're going into the back okay so as you can see here I lift that up real quick the color zap is on the left as we're viewing the monitor here um, as you can see it didn't do very much of anything it has a little bit of teal but mostly blue um, I believe the other options came out a lot better okay and that's the color zap okay so now moving on to the pinky colors as you can see it totally won this contest um, it removed a lot mostly all of the, all of the blue um, yeah um, as you can see here we got like a pink shade going on and so I would believe this wins the contest okay but I'm going to show you what it looks like indoors so we can see if there's any difference okay okay so just giving you an indoor view of what the hair colors are looking like as you can see here just giving you a 360 okay Okay, so first color up is the color fix original uh like i said this particular product is used for permanent hair color and we use it on a semi-permanent hair color so it should be no surprise not much lift but when we did a red hair color with a semi it lifted pretty well apparently it doesn't work very well with blue so moving on to the next uh test okay so up next we're going to take a look at the color fix for semi-permanent hair color removal as you can see here it has a very gray 
uh, at the midlengths and roots and it has like blue tips which is a pretty cool color if that's what you're going for uh, apparently this is not what we're going for but it still looks pretty cool and it removed a lot more hair color than the semi I'm sorry than the color fix original um, so yeah we're just taking a look at that real, real quick okay so now we're moving on to the back um, I believe that this uh, color zap which is on your left is probably the worst performing of all colors however on the right the punky colors is uh, the best performing okay so as you can see the colors have been removed most of the, some of the color but not very much it still looks very blue and as you can see on this side the punky colors brought it up to like a pink hair color so it pretty much took out like 99.9% .9 of like the blue so uh, so that was a win okay so we're just taking a little bit of a look at the punky color it has like a pink tinge I don't understand where the pink came from but um, it serves as a perfect base for recoloring with another semi permanent hair color or whatever you want to do to it okay and taking a look at another look at the the color zap as you can see it looks pretty blue uh, not quite as blue as when we originally applied the hair color uh, it has a little bit of teal but mostly it's pretty much blue so it didn't do very much of anything well I wouldn't say anything it did a little bit of something but not very much okay and uh, as you can see here okay uh, moving on to uh, just comparing that with the two sides uh, as you can see the color fix semi did a lot better job it brought it to like a silvery color and moving on to the other side in comparison to these two uh, colors as you can see the color fix original came like a green and of course there's no comparison to the punky uh, semi-permanent demi-permanent permanent hair color remover and these are my results for this test i hope you enjoyed this video and maybe uh, learned something in the process and maybe can use this towards your next color semi-permanent hair color remover okay thanks for watching don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.